What's up guys, Joe here, and on today's episode of The Shop Series, we're working on a very special truck. This 89 Chevy belonged to a father of one of my clients that had passed away, and when his son acquired the truck, he wanted to give it a new lease on life and pay respect to his dad who enjoyed the truck. Pop has already highlighted some of the bigger ding and dents with some body filler as a guide. Now seeing as this truck was used as a truck, it has quite a lot of body work that will need to be done to it. Now we're doing a full color change, including the jams. So Pop is gonna start by taking the door panels off and then the door handles, which we'll be replacing with new ones. Pop is going to start on the metal work. Here you'll see him use the stud gun to weld a rod to the panel, and then use a knocking hammer to pull on the rod until it starts to regain shape. After a few love taps and massaging the metal, he'll grind away any rod that's left over and then continue on with the body work. After seeing all the dings and dents on just the door, Pop had a feeling that there was more hidden damage to the truck. So we're going to take the truck down to metal and start from a fresh surface. And sure enough, during that process, we uncovered some of the previous bodywork that just wasn't done properly. This is the type of body filler or bondo work is what gives the product a bad name. Now, if used correct, body filler is an awesome product that you can repair and shape panels. But the goal is to metal work the panel first so that the filler needed is only a skim coat and not one inch thick like in some areas here. So I'm going to continue to strip down the truck to metal. There's a lot of ways you could do this, but in this case we're going to use a DA with 80 to 180 grit depending on the area. Next up, Pop is going to weld up some holes in the bed, and also we'll fix a slight dip on the passenger side using a porta power. All right, come, come up just a little bit more. Oh, right, that's good. Yep. All right, now, raise it. So that, that worked out pretty good. We're also going to shave the antenna as well, so Pop cut out a small circle and he's going to tack weld that in for now. Cody came by to pick out a color. He had white in mind, but I'm sure he was shocked to see how many whites there are. Okay, so touching back on body filler and its many uses. From an outside looking in, or someone who doesn't know much about it, you'd look at this panel and say, dude, what the heck? You put on just as much as you took off in the first place. As I mentioned before, body filler has a lot of uses, some good and some not so good. In our case here, Pop has already metal worked the surface, meaning between the stud gun, the hammer, the dollies, and massaging the metal closest to the original shape, then he'll apply a skim coat of filler to finalize the shape and refine any body lines. 
If every project was perfect in metal, I'm sure everyone would be a painter. Body filler plays a huge role in how many metal projects are finished. The next process after bodywork is going to be the primer and blocking stage. This is where we'll see the truck actually take shape. Now guide coat is a light layer of a darker color. As you sand the surface, any leftover high or low spots will start to show through the guide coat. Depending on the client's budget and the goals we are after, this blocking process can take a lot of time. The truck owner is stopping by to check out progress and swap over the door hinges. Since the truck is apart, this is the best time to do that, but the truck is almost ready for paint. All right, it's paint day. Refill pop with a hot coffee. Let's get started. We are going to do one coat of sealer, three coats of color, and three coats of clear. Okay, now that the truck has been fully painted, I'm going to cut and buff the surface. There's two ways I cut and buff after fresh paint. The first being just to wet sand any dirt or imperfections I see from the painting process. They're very similar to an OEM finish, which is included with all of our paint jobs. Then there's the show car cut and buff, which is an entire vehicle gets wet sanded, then buffed and polished. This will flatten all texture, leaving a flawless reflection that looks stunning, but is harder to maintain and costs more. So always remember that. How's it going? Holy moly, man. How's she look? Fucking badass. Not too bad? No, oh, that looks killer. We had about six projects going on at the time of filming this, so there's a quite a lot that I didn't get on film. But man, this was quite the project to work on. Cody was an awesome guy, and I'm sure his dad is proud of how his truck is looking today. Before and after, man. Yeah, talk about that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's